here we have Wreckfest being played on Nintendo Switch. Uh, courtesy of LPR and THQ Nordic. Uh, this is developed by Bugbear. Uh, this game is just so, so awesome. Uh, it kind of surprised me um, on the Switch, honestly. But uh, So here we've got the main menu. So we've got Career, uh, Custom Event Multiplayer Tournament DLC Store. So Custom Event allows you to make your own event. Uh, you pick your track, pick your car, pick your event option. You know, if you want uh, Deathmatch. Um, or what you want there. You've got uh, multiplayer, so you can do uh, uh, online multiplayer only, uh, which is kind of kind of too bad. Uh, but you can do uh, quick match. You can do uh, mixed. You can do racing. You can do special vehicle events, derby, uh, private match, public match. So you've got. We had several options here. Uh, and then you've got tournament, which is an online tournament with leaderboards and stuff. Uh, and then you've got like it's the career mode. Oh, you also have uh, the garage. So here you can see what cars you have. Uh, you can add to your favorites. You can sort them. You can sort by class. You can sort by region. Sort by type. Sort alphabetically. Um, I leave it on sort by class, and you pick a car, you can toggle the info, uh, you can paint your car, so you can uh, choose what kind of paint style you want, what kind of graphic you want, and then you can change the color, let's say I want it to be, uh, let's say I want it to be purple. I could do that. Blue. Green. Oh, that's not save it though. There you go. Upgrades. <coughs> Here you can purchase upgrades for your car as you unlock them. Lock them by doing events. Not that I have anything unlocked right now, other than what I have already. And nope. Okay. And then you've got the market. Here's where you can buy cars. You can't sell your cars, unfortunately. I uh, I, I wish that was the case, but you can't sell the cars. But you can buy new ones. You can tune them, which is kind of cool. So here you can adjust the suspension. You can adjust the gear ratio, the differential, the brake balance. You can you can pretty much make it however you want it to, to be, which is kind of neat. And then hit the minus button here, and it'll give you the weight, and torque, and power, and the gears, which is kind of awesome, actually. I like that the, you can do that. So not only can you upgrade your car, but you can also customize it the way that you want it to handle, which is really cool. And hey, miscellaneous here, you got settings and credits. So settings, you've got uh, audio settings here, you've got gameplay settings, you've got uh, controls and advanced, so lots of different options there. Quite a bit of options, actually. So let's go and get into the meat of the game here, the career. So here I've unlocked um, just the one uh, na national amateurs, but... Uh, you start out with regional juniors, and you go national amateurs, challengers, pro internationals, and the world masters. You have to get the set amount of points there to unlock the next the next uh, section. So I have to get at least 800, 1,800 points or more through national amateurs before I can unlock challengers, and so on and so forth. So regional juniors here, you've got uh, lawnmower deathmatch. <laughs> you've got demolition racing. You've got demolition derby. Uh, you've got uh, 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 banger racing, a lot more racing, folk racing. Um, you've got just lots of different. Oh, sofa racing—that's pretty cool too. I'll show you that guy, that too. But uh, lots of different types of races. Um, really, really awesome survival races. Um, you got different challenges. I mean, you've got so much here. There's just so much content. It's really, really cool. 
it's actually one of the most robust racing games I think I've ever I've ever played, honestly. Um, it's just so cool, and it's so satisfying. So satisfying to play. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Regional Juniors. I'll go ahead and just show you... Let's go ahead and show you the... Uh, let's see here. Let's do the... Let's do the Folk, the folk Heroes Regional Juniors. Uh, uh, actually, no, I don't want to reset my progress. I'll go ahead and go to National Amateurs. So let's do the Scandinavian Tour. So here you got the event. You've got standings where I currently am. You got my garage, so I can choose what car I want to use. Um, I'll go with uh, my rocket, and then I can paint it if I want. I can tune it if I want. Um, I can buy a new car if I want. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and just hit start on it. Now, the thing that really surprised me was the load time. The load time is not very long on the Switch, surprisingly enough. I expected it to be longer, honestly, but it's not too long. It's not too long at all. There we go. Fire, Firewood Moto Center Main Circuit. So here you can uh, check out the event here. You can check out your standings currently. You can... You can adjust the difficulty, and you can tune it right here before the race, which is really handy. So if you like, feel like you, you want to tune it, see if you can get it first place, you can do that. So pretty cool. So here we go. Use the uh, right trigger or the ZR to uh, to accelerate. You have the uh, ZL for braking. Right, left analog stick to control your car. Oh. Uh, you why to reset? I'm actually going to go just reset the race here entirely. When you restart, it's pretty much instantaneous, which is really nice. Uh, you can hit the uh, minus button to adjust your camera angle. Come on. Why is it not? Why am I not going? Why am I stuck? <laughs> Why am I stuck in first gear? Oh, I'm, I'm going to reset the race. Hang on. <coughs> Not sure what I did there. Let's try that again. Whoa. What is going on? Okay, I am stuck. Okay, so it was my controller. Um, now it's working. So I typically like to play this way, um, in typical third-person mode when I play these races, uh, just because it, it, I don't know, it feels better. Usually I, play, I like to play first-person, but not this done this game. I find third person used to, look to be a lot better. And so, what what you'll notice immediately is the is the damage. Um, the damage is really cool. You can you can um, do other cars as well as you can um, have on your own car. It's pretty satisfying to to slam in other cars and listen to the crunch. <laughs> It's <laughs> it really is is very 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 satisfying, and overall, these games are a lot of fun. If you guys like demolition derby games, you guys like racing games, um, you'll definitely uh, I think highly enjoy this game. Um, this is available, I believe, through Game Pass. So if you do have Xbox, uh, you can get it through Game Pass right now, uh, so you can check it out. But this just came out yesterday on Switch, and I am absolutely loving this game a lot. Um, this game is so cool, so much fun. Um, it's challenging, it's satisfying, it's fun. I mean, it's about the best racing game I've, I've played in quite a while, honestly. 
and usually I try to stay, uh, stay away from, like, Derby games, honestly speaking. Um, like, Demolition Derby on the PS1, I never really played, because I really didn't, didn't like the game too much. Um, I did, a while back, get uh, Total on the original Xbox, and that was fun. And this takes that and just kind of amplifies it. Like, Wreckfest is just an amazing game. Um, Bugbear did a really good job on this. Um, it is just so cool. And it's such a great game. And it runs very, very smoothly. The only issue I've seen so far with it, honestly, um, is there's some slight performance dips in handheld mode if you get a lot of cars on screen all at once, depending on the track that you're on. So that is something you do have to keep in mind, and that, that will happen occasionally. But other than that, other than the minor controller issue that you saw, I've had zero issues with this game. It's just it, it it's it's that it's that it's that optimized. It's that optimized. It's just it's so good. It really is <laughs> an amazing an amazing racing game. Um, and I can't recommend it enough, guys. This game just looks great. the The environments look great. The sound effects are awesome. The damage is just incredibly detailed, and it's just a good game. A very good game. Um, I want to thank Evolve PR for the very opportunity. I want to thank THQ Nordic. I want to take. I want to thank uh, uh, Evil Chris <laughs> for providing the uh, the uh, review code for this game. This game is just is so good, so great. Can't recommend this enough. Uh, if you like racing games, like demolition games, pick this game up on any platform. You can pick it up on PS4, Xbox One, Switch. It's a great game, and that'll do it. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time. Take care and happy gaming.